So you've delved into the world of multi-sport and your first triathlon is just around the corner. Now you may be wondering where to start. Well, that's where we come in. No matter what distance you're doing, we want to make sure you complete it comfortably and have a great time. So this is part one of how to train for your first triathlon series. Swimming tends to be the discipline that's most daunting, especially if it's new to you or you haven't swum for a while, but really there's nothing to worry about. See, swimming is largely about technique, which is quite hard to figure out on your own. And most swimmers and triathletes will tell you what you think you're doing in the water isn't necessarily what you're actually doing. Yes, yeah, so before you get any terrible habits, it's probably a good idea to get someone to have a look at your swimming. That could be a training partner, a friend, or maybe it's worth considering joining a swimming club or a triathlon club where you can get the advice of a coach. So given the technical aspect of swimming, we suggest swimming little but often. This will give you the best chance possible of learning any new skills. Providing you have the time to, I'd suggest starting with two swims per week of around 30 to 40 minutes each. Obviously it depends on the level you're starting at, but the aim is to be able to complete the swim distance of the triathlon that you've entered within your training sessions comfortably. And that doesn't mean just swimming that distance continuously. Basically, you need to break it down into chunks. So an example session at an easy anaerobic pace would be. For the warm-up, two lots of 50 metres front crawl swim, and then some drills, four lots of 25 metres kick, and then for the main set, and it's a ladder set, so we go 50 metres, then into 100 metres, 150 metres, followed by another 150 metres, and then back down to 100 metres, and finally 50 metres. All a front crawl swim, and then for the cool down, 100 metres choice swim of any stroke, then 50 metres pull with a pool boy, finally 50 metres kick. And in total, that's 1,000 metres, and just take a comfortable 20 to 40 seconds recovery between all the reps. To begin with, if you're new to cycling, then all of your training needs to be focused on building your confidence and getting your fitness up. That's right, cycling is actually a relatively technical sport, more so than most people realise. So even if you are quite an experienced cyclist, it may be worth you spending a little time honing your skills first. So rather than heading out for rides at breakneck speed, keep it to a conversational pace as this will allow you to build that base level of aerobic fitness and muscular strength without overdoing it. Absolutely. Don't underestimate how tiring training for three sports can be. It is, trust me. So let's start by building things up gradually. There's no need for killer sessions at this point. It's just simply about riding your bike. But how much should you do and how often? Well, it obviously depends on your sporting background and your current fitness, but a good starting point would be to do two rides a week of about 60 minutes each. But it's really important not to increase it too quickly. So we're going to use the 10% rule where you don't increase your training duration or your training distance by more than 10% each week. Okay, so as an example, this would mean in your first week you do two steady rides at around 60 minutes. And then in your second week, you do two more rides, but this time we're going to progress them slightly. We're going to do 65 to 66 minutes, give or take. Actually, something I found really useful when I first started triathlon was to ride with other more experienced cyclists, providing they're not going to push you too hard to start with. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea, and I did the same thing myself. I guess it's a bit of a monkey see, monkey do approach. By seeing how they corner, they break, they descend and just ride technically, it will eventually brush off on you. And it's actually also just a great way of mixing things up and enjoying your training with others. Now for the running, and in a similar way to the cycling, you want to keep it to a steady and aerobic pace to begin with. Now it tends to be the one that everyone gets a little bit carried away with, try to run too fast, too soon, or even too fast, too often. For others though, it can feel much harder work. Now remember, it's a weight-bearing sport, so it's really important that you build it up gradually. And if you're new to running, or if you haven't done any running for a long time, then just start off by doing walk jogs. And for that, you just head out on a walk and then add in some 30 to 60 second jogging efforts. 
as with before, dependent on your current level of fitness and your sporting background, we suggest starting out with no more than 30 minute runs. In fact, from my own experience, the little but often trick works wonders for running. So, providing time allows, we recommend doing two easy runs in your first week of around 20 to 30 minutes each, and then in your second week, just increase that slightly to 30 to 35 minute runs. If you've entered a longer distance triathlon, then it's easy to start worrying that you need to be doing the full distance or close to it already in training. But you don't, you need to hold back and be patient because the valuable base that you're building now will pay off in a few weeks time. And finally, some people become concerned that they haven't done enough of one of the disciplines. But it's worth noting that although they're three different sports, fitness is fitness. So say you are improving your cardiovascular fitness on the run, this will translate to some degree to the cycling and the swimming. But of course, the main thing of all of this is like Heather said, make sure you enjoy yourself. Now, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more videos from GTN, just click on the globe to subscribe. If you'd like to see how to choose your first triathlon, if you haven't done so already, then just click up here. If you'd like to see our intro on how to train for your first triathlon, just click down here.